What you're looking at here is a head tracked, radio controlled, first person view nerf blaster. When I move my head, the blaster moves too. Pretty cool, right? Head track guns are not a novel idea, and the chain gun on the Apache helicopter is an example of that. In my setup, I can fire it using some switches on my radio, and when I fire, the triggers do not even move. In my goggles I can see what the blaster is aiming at, as they receive a live video feed from the small video system mounted on the rail behind the crosshairs. A day where the house director was out of town with our youngest son, our older son Carl and I did some testing and after getting approval from Carl and after shooting down a spoon from the kitchen table, <laughs> we figured it was best to shoot at something the director would approve of and decided on something that was already extinct, dinosaurs. So we created a shooting range on the living room floor and lined it up with an assortment of dinosaurs and some toy cars to top it all up. As you can see, the targets are really small and even though I rained down balls of them, I was surprised by the fact that the only thing I managed to properly take out was a camera. I was both shocked and frustrated, but you know the thing, if you don't succeed at first, just do it again. And this time I made the right war cry and I believe that made all the difference. Before we move on to round 2 and 3, I will now do a high level walkthrough of the components in this build. It's just going to be 2 minutes, so hang on. The Head Tracker is an awesome open source project. It's free and easy to use, and there are several hardware options available. I'm using the now outdated Arduino Nano 33BLE. I just uploaded the firmware, calibrated it, and did a channel setup. A few solder points, and I was done. It is wired to my radio through its trainer port and the tracker's signals are then sent to the receiver in the blaster through the radio. From the receiver the tracker's signals are sent to the two giant servos in the pan and tilt mechanism which is what makes the blaster move. I've designed the mechanism in Tinkercad, it is printed in black premium PLA from Spectrum Filaments and printed on my Creality Seer 10 V2. I had excessive use of bearings, seven in total, one of which is a needle bearing. The reason for that is to spread out the weight and give it a good stance to prevent wobble. Finally, I built a wooden base for it, so it does not tip over when the blaster is operating. On the radio, I've assigned two switches to control the two triggers of the blaster. From the receiver, the trigger switch signals are fed into an Arduino, which acts as an interpreter between the receiver and the relays, because the signal from the receiver, a PBM signal, is not accepted by the relays. The relays are connected to the battery, and when I operate the radio switches, the Arduino will make sure the relays get the proper signals, which makes the blaster fire. Here's the code for the Arduino. Prior to all this, I removed all the existing electronics in the blaster and soldered wires directly to the motors and ran the wires to the battery bay and connected them with the relays, much like I did in a previous episode where I built a proximity triggered Nerf Elite hypervire. The FPV system consists of the DJI Goggles V2 and the original DJI FPV camera and the DJI Vista VTX. The VTX is supposed to be flown and have an airflow over it to keep it cool that way but in this stationary application it needs a fan, otherwise it will overheat. Full of confidence from round 1, revisited, I found my Zen and tried some light sniping. At least, shorter, more control bursts. After this overwhelming success, I felt it was time for a challenging finale, moving targets. It seems that there's a habit forming about taking out the camera. I hope 
you enjoyed this project, I sure did. And if you want to see this plastic go app on, stick around because it is happening. I have some more Nerf stuff in the making as well. But that's all for now. Thanks for watching. Cheers.